Hey guys, it's PoxPro. Welcome back to another video. Today in Fallout 76, I'm going to be talking about the Settler reputation. So this is going to be a follow-up to my Raider reputation video, and I'm essentially just going to be doing a quick overview of the Settler points, um, the different tiers of relationship, and then what the rewards are, and then how you can actually get the points that you want. And then I'll go ahead and show some gameplay of actually obtaining the points, and like what you can do daily, and that sort of thing. So let's go ahead and get started. So first off, these are the reputation tier requirements. There's hostile, cautious, neutral, cooperative, friendly, neighborly, and ally. And then these are the point totals that you are going to need to achieve each uh, different tier. And if you want the best rewards, you're probably going to be shooting for the ally tier for the settlers. Something that's really nice here on the wiki is that it kind of calculates the number of days you need to get from the previous tier. So you can use this to kind of estimate how many more days it'll take you of grinding out the settler reputation to get to the tier that you want. And then let's go ahead and talk about how to actually get these points. Um, I would highly recommend that when you're doing the main Wastelander story before you even get Gold Boolean if possible. Without too much spoilers, I would recommend trying to do quests for both factions as much as you can before you have to make the final decision. I'll try to leave it as ambiguous as that, um, but let's go ahead and talk about what you can do outside of the story quests to actually obtain um, reputation. So everything that I've highlighted right here is pretty much the way that we can get um, reputation points outside of the main quest line. So after you finished it, or um, once you have access to these quests, you can go ahead and start doing them. The first one is a daily called Vital Equipment, where essentially you want to go ahead and go to Foundation and you want to navigate to a NPC that's in like a little shack near the entrance. And when you talk to him, he's going to say like, you know, some of their equipment has been stolen and you wouldn't need to go ahead and retrieve it. So you can go ahead and complete the quest and either accept the reward or donate the reward. And what you want to go ahead and do is donate the reward to Foundation. That way you can get the maximum amount of points, which is 250. Um, there's another quest. This one is a raider quest called Retirement Plan. You can tell the former raider to move to Foundation with a charisma of eight plus. Um, so if you want, you can do this Raider daily and add it into your daily um, routine as long as you have enough charisma and you can get a bonus of 25 um, points per day. But this will pretty much sacrifice this daily from the Raider points, so you won't be able to get any Raider points out of it. You'll just get 25 Settler points. Um, then there is the shared daily called Photo Opportunity from Davenport. Um, you can go ahead and take photos of Crater and take it to Ward and at foundation and decline the reward which gives you 75 and then they have these encounters um, which is pretty much you can go to a random encounter spot on the map in the and then you can go ahead and grind out pretty much a faction encounter where it'll be the settlers fighting something and you have to help the settlers um, win the fight and then you can talk to them and you get a small amount of rep the best way to, or the fastest way to get rep is to do at least vital equipment every day because that gives you 250 points compared to 25 or compared to like 10 or 25. So normally what I would do is I do vital equipment and photo opportunity every day. Um, if I wanted to get settler rep, that's how I would do it. And then um, if I don't want raider rep, then you could add in retirement plan. But these encounters, in my opinion, are too tedious, but I'll still go ahead and show some gameplay. And now that we talked about how you can actually get the points, let's talk about the rewards. So for the settlers, we have um, a flare and a cattle prod if you're cautious. If you're friendly, you get the dirt farmable dirt tiles, which is what I wanted. Um, and then you get a gauntlet and like a grocer's backpack. If you don't already have Chinese stealth armor, when you're neighborly, you can get the plans um, and a water well. And then when you're ally, you get the Goss shotgun and all the Goss shotgun plans. And you also get some turbo fertilizer. But yeah, so if you're doing a shotgun build, the Goss shotgun might be a desirable weapon. And that's, my, that's probably one of the reasons why you want to get ally with the um, foundation. On top of all of these rewards, you also get um, bow and compound bow rewards with these tiers of relationship with either faction. So even if you are an ally with the raiders already, you should probably have access to all of this. But if you're not an ally with any of them and you want the compound plans, you can pick which one you want. And yeah, if you are interested in the raider faction, I'll have a link in the description of my raider guide. But let's go ahead and go to the in-game gameplay. 
So the first things I'm going to go ahead and show are the daily quests and the first quest I'm going to show is going to be the one at foundation. So you can already see this one right here called daily vital equipment. We can make this active. You can go ahead and just head to foundation and then you would talk to somebody to accept the quest if you don't already have it accepted. And once you arrive in foundation, you're going to want to go ahead and sprint through the main entrance and then make a right. And then we can talk to the actual quest giver and I'll just show you guys for demonstration purposes. It's going to be right inside here, this little blue shack kind of building, kind of trailer building. And this right here is Ward. You want to talk to Ward? Sure, sounds right up my alley. All right, and essentially the foundation has lost some equipment and we are sent to go ahead and recover the equipment. And let's go ahead and see where it actually is. Get within tracking range. So I'm going to go here, go to data, and then I'm just going to go ahead and navigate to daily and show on map. That way I don't have to go around searching for it. So we're just going to go ahead and fast travel to the gang camp. Generally speaking, it's going to be around a raider location because a raider has the equip stolen equipment and you're going to have to kill them for it. And we can tune into the radio station and right here, foundation property tracker. And we can get a little bit of a signal strength to help narrow it down once we're in the circle. So we're at 19%. So you can see it ended up leading me towards this Wendigo location. Or this location seems unmarked on my map actually. This looks pretty raider. And now you can see it's actually marked on our map specifically. Looks like the person was already killed, um, might have been by the frogs, but we can go ahead and pick up the kit and then we can just go ahead and go back to foundation to give it back. And once we're back at foundation, you just want to go ahead and go back to the quest giver reward. And then we can just say, um, glad to help. I'm donating my reward to the foundation and this will give you the maximum settler reputation. And then the next part of the settler reputation is to go to Davenport or the Overseer's home. And in order to access this quest line or to do this daily, you're going to need a photo camera. If you don't have a photo camera, a pro snap photo camera, I'll link a video in the description to show you how to get one. But once you have that and you have access to the Overseer's basement, then you can actually access um, this daily quest called Photo Opportunity. And then um, if you don't have access to the basement, then just progress the Overseer storyline a little bit and eventually you'll get access to her basement pretty fairly, fairly uh, early on, I would say. Uh, but yeah, I have a survival tent here, so let's go ahead and head on over. All right, and once you're at the Overseer's home, you just want to go ahead and head into her house and then um, into the basement. If the Overseer is actually right here on the couch, then you most likely don't have access to her basement yet. But if not, then you can go ahead and head on down and we can do this quest line to, uh, with Davenport. So you can say, I'm here to help you. And then you want to go ahead and pick Crater. And that sounds kind of contradictory, but essentially you take pictures of Crater and then you turn it into foundation. There we go. And it'll kind of tell you what pictures to take. So now we want to go ahead and head on up to Crater and you'll see these two areas are marked and we just need to take these pictures and then uh, we probably need to take a picture of this monument. We'll do the monument first. It actually would have been cheaper to do the monument last. All right, but here we are and this is pretty much the pro snap camera. I'm just going to use my zoom to get a picture and make sure you actually see whatever you're taking a picture of in the top right corner. Otherwise, it may not count. Wow, there's just a herd of deer here. Well, it's double XP weekend. And then we can take the pictures at Crater. And then once we're here, we can see the marker just wants us to take a picture of this. So this is the crop field. And then we can retrain, return to Davenport or take them to Ward at Foundation. And ideally, we want to go ahead and bring them to Foundation for the Foundation rep. All right. And then once you're here, you just want to go ahead and take it to Ward. And Ward is the same guy who gave us the daily quest to uh, obtain the vital equipment again. So just head back into this little area and talk to them. Interested in some pictures of Crater. And then you just say, no caps needed. I'm just happy to help out. So you don't actually want to do these two quests or you actually don't want to do these two uh, skill checks. You just want to do this one where you're pretty much saying, hey, you know, I helped you. I don't need a reward. And that will give you the higher reputation points. There you go. So those are pretty much the two dailies that you can do and without sacrificing any other reputation. But if you want, you can do this Raider quest called um, the Retirement Plan. Deal with a former uh, creator gang member. And essentially, 
This quest will go ahead and take you or show you a location where a former creator gang member is. You want to go there and then you want to talk to the member. Don't kill them. Um, this is if you want settler rep. And then you want to go ahead and convince them to actually join the foundation. But in order to get that option, you're going to need at least eight charisma. So now that we went ahead and did that, we can actually still close out photo opportunity by going back to Davenport. And this will complete the daily, even after turning it into the settlers for settler rep. All right, so now that we're back at the Orisri's home, we just want to go ahead and talk to Dave and Port. Go. And I'm not sure if you're able to double dip this one. Let me go ahead and see. So I went ahead and put on a Charisma Perk card right there, and then I'm going to go ahead and join a casual team and see. Go will have to join this events team. Okay. So if you have at least eight charisma, you can actually double dip the rewards. I went ahead and put on a perk card that gives me plus two charisma for every member inside a team. That's not me. So I get plus two charisma from this person right here. And then you can actually uh, lie to Dave and Port that you got jumped by raiders. And that way you can actually get a um, quest reward from Dave and Port and the foundation reward at the same time. But yeah, that's going to go ahead and wrap up photo opportunity. The other methods that you can go ahead and do, which is not time constricted to a daily, is grinding out a random encounter. Um, I'll go ahead and have a encounter map linked in the description so you can pick a spot on the map that is most convenient to you. And essentially you just want to pick a spot and then constantly server hop on it hoping that the settlers are the encounter. Um, that way you can actually aid them. And let me see if I can find a spot. I'll just see the spot that I use in the raider um video which is going to be above abandoned mineshaft 6. so i have arrived at the encounter location i'm just going to go ahead and run over to it ideally you pick a spot on the map that's most convenient to you and is also easy to access after a server hop which is pretty much when you disconnect to a server and reconnect to a new server hoping that whatever was on the previous server is changed this one looks like it's floaters versus blood eagle slayers so this one is not what we're looking for so essentially what you do now is you just go ahead and server hop this one it looks like liberators versus sometimes they might be in the house on this encounter versus ghouls so you can kind of see it's completely rng based and it doesn't give nearly as many points as doing a actual daily so that's why this one is kind of up to you if you want to go ahead and grind it out but i want to go ahead and get you guys an example of what it looks like when you do get what you want so we'll go ahead and try again i have server hopped quite a few times and i'm actually i guess i'm just not getting lucky with a settler encounter um but i have a raider encounter here and this i guess will just give you a decent idea of essentially what you have to do so this one is ghouls versus raiders so essentially you want to go ahead and save the raiders from the ghouls once all the ghouls are dead or whatever enemy faction there is you just want to go ahead and talk to the raiders and one of them will give you the reputation Oh, looks like there's still some ghouls. There we go. And then you get some reputation. So essentially, you want to go ahead and do this, but for the settler faction instead of the raider faction. And then you'll get some reputation. Um, the best encounter is when it's raiders versus settlers. Then you want to go ahead and kill the raiders and then um, talk to the settlers. That'll give you the best encounter um, reputation points. And you won't lose any rep for the raiders when you do that. Um, but yeah. That's going to be pretty much it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please let me know in the comment section below. Hopefully I didn't miss anything, but if I did, go ahead and let me know in the comment section as well. And that way we can all hear. Um, but if you have any positive or negative feedback, also let me know. That way I can improve. And until next time.